It may be one of the most important civil and environmental rights stories of our time. The repression against the water protectors has continued to intensify. This is a huge victory. The Army Corps of Engineers announced it will look for an alternate route. But the victory could be short-lived. Our courts have failed to protect our sovereign rights, our sacred places, and our water. These are literally the most powerless people in the country, fighting arguably the most powerful people in the country. You know, it's really incumbent on us to remain vigilant because this is an issue that affects us all. I beg at this time that our hearts and our understandings will meet with love and generosity. It was prophesied that the seventh generation of our people were going to be a savior for our people. And we're seeing that now in our youth. It gives me hope. We're gonna overcome, we're, we're not going anywhere. At this moment in history, a devastation is being done to the Mother Earth. And this devastation is compromising, perhaps, the continued future of all peoples. People have to come back to the cycle of life. That Mother Earth is a source of life, not a resource. All the rivers and the creeks, the streams, all connected like that. And this is the tree of life of Mother Earth. The pipelines, no matter how great they are or how brand new they are, they always leak. There is no pipeline that does not leak. And we kind of forget that spills happen. And we forget that we've polluted the Earth. And so then we allow more oil to be drilled and piped through because we've had this environmental amnesia as if we create new normals for ourselves. And what that normal is doing is depleting us of our resources. We're evolving, we're moving past this. Why are they still trying so hard for oil? We have better ways now, we know we do. But the money's there in the oil. And as long as there's money in it, they're gonna pursue it, clearly, at any cost. Environmentally, they're better in many cases. I will absolutely approve it 100%, but I want a better deal. We are not going to allow a pipeline to endanger the clean water that millions of people depend uh -huh. upon. Energy Transfer Partner says they're moving ahead. They actually don't need this permit to build. This could happen um, in just a few short months. What would it take for President Obama? Why is he waiting? Mr. President, I served under you. Young girls the same age as your daughters are being assaulted out there. First lady, speak to your husband. Where are you? You held our children. We held you in a high regard. We're disgusted and heartbroken right now. We are strongly connected with the land. We're strongly connected with the water. We're strongly connected with who we are. And that is why we are going to survive. And we are going to stomp on that black snake. And then we're going to go to other places where they're infested with snakes until the earth is free. As we pray for the water and the land and the people here, we pray for Morton County sheriffs. We pray for pipeline workers. We pray for the corporations that continue to drill. If we can stop this, we can stop the larger problem that we have in our country, but you have to be able to come here first. This is the front lines. This is a temporary victory only, and we need to be mobilized to stop this pipeline. Do not be deceived into believing that this is over. It's that moment when you realize that there's no one that's going to save you, that you are the person that has to wake up and you have to take a stand. You have a voice. You have the power, the power of prayer, the power of peace. The battle is not over. No, this is a beginning that we're going into right now. We got to uh, realize that Standing Rock is everywhere in the whole world. I'm here because my children sent me here. My grandchildren are sending me here. I have great grandchildren that know their grandma is at Standing Rock. And they're saying, Mini Wachoni, water is life. And we will pray with you. We will do this. We will do this. Upon my word, upon my heart, upon my blood, we will do this.